Alright, so we have breaking news. <laughs> Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley flopped. I repeat. Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley flopped. Yo, my sources tell me that, by the way, they're really good sources. They tell me that Jake Paul versus Woodley 2 did 65,000 pay-per-view buys. If true, that is absolutely positively horrendous. That's like Andy Reeves versus Chris Ariola numbers. Like I didn't expect this from somebody with Jake Paul's following. And I, I feel like it's indicative of what fans thought about the first fight. And the funny thing is this fight ended in like exciting fashion. Like this was all people were talking about after the fact. But the first fight sucked so much that fans was probably like, man, I'm not paying for this bullshit. And I can't even blame them. I can't even blame them because like it was a it was an absolute positive snooze fest. So I, I don't know where Jake Paul and Showtime go from here, but I can't imagine them investing big money in another fight with Jake Paul. Maybe maybe if it's against the right opponent with a really good following. But other than that, I don't see it. And even with the excitement from the knockout, will they be willing to risk taking a couple of million dollar loss? Because that's what that was. 65,000 buys at what? 70, $75? Oh my gosh. That doesn't even cover Woodley's purse. That doesn't even come cover Amanda Serrano's purse. But I, I don't know where Showtime and Jake Paul go from here. Uh... Maybe he just has to go back to the drawing board and find some way to garner more interest. And a spectacular knockout, that should do it. But if fans don't don't like the idea of you not going up against an actual boxer, then it, it's likely to turn them off. And so maybe a Tyson, maybe a Tommy Fury, maybe a Jorge Masvidal, he always has a good following. Um, sh shit. Uh, maybe a Nate Diaz or Anderson Silva. Maybe they're garner more interest. But I'm definitely shocked to go from one million to sixty-five thousand is ridiculous. That goes to show you that guys like Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, they're anomalies. That just because you have a good pay-per-view one time doesn't mean you'll be able to duplicate the process over and over and over again. No matter, no matter the level of your hijinks, that people want to see good fights, good fights and good storylines. And this was neither. It was an exciting knockout, but based off of the first fight, there was no reason why you would pay seventy dollars for it. So I'm shocked. Uh, the supposed cash cow of boxing. <laughs> That shit is over with. I don't even want to hear nothing like that again, man. But yeah, 65,000 buys. Now, I don't know how true it is. I, I'm guessing or, you know, my spidey sense tells me that, yeah, but it could be higher. Maybe it's 165,000. Who knows? You know, all, all these all these pay-per-view numbers come out and they're either higher or lower. But I can tell you 100% that this shit flopped. Because nobody pulls the number 65,000 out of the hat if it's a million or 500,000 bots. I'll tell you that. But uh, let me know in the comments below who do you want to see Jake Paul fight next? And do you think he can rebound from this poor performance as far as pay per view sales? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. YSM Sports Media. We out.